The badge in my hand read, Support Staff, in bold red letters. I stared at it, then at the registration volunteer who'd handed it to me. There must be a mistake. I'm Harper Chin, registered attendee. She checked her tablet. You're listed under Chin Industries but marked as administrative support. Registration submitted by Kenneth Chin. My brother. Of course. The National Technology Innovation Summit was being held at the Grand Meridian, three days of panels and keynotes from tech industry leaders. Chin Industries had purchased a platinum sponsorship with 10 executive badges and five support staff badges. I'd been allocated support staff. I clipped the humiliating badge to my blazer and headed to the VIP lounge where my family waited. The third floor space was elegant. Leather chairs catered breakfast floor-to-ceiling windows. Dad stood near the coffee service talking to a venture capital CEO and a Fortune 500 CTO. Kenneth spotted me first. His eyes dropped to my badge, satisfaction flickering across his face. Harper. You made it. Why is my badge marked support staff? He guided me toward the windows, away from Dad's conversation. Keep your voice down. We have limited executive badges. Dad, Mom, myself are actual executives. You're not with the company anymore. Haven't been for three years. So this is punishment for not joining Chin Industries. It's reality. You can network, see what you're missing. He checked his Patek Philippe. Support staff have designated seating in the back sections. Opening keynote starts in 20 minutes. Mom appeared, her smile tight. Harper, darling. Is everything all right? My badge says support staff. Oh, well it's just a badge. Your father's been introducing Kenneth to some very influential people. Maybe you can explain what you're doing with your startup. The way she said startup made it sound like a lemonade stand. What they didn't know, what I'd never told them, was that my startup was Quantum Core Analytics, a machine learning platform that had revolutionized supply chain optimization. We'd launched 18 months ago with backing from Sequoia and Andreessen Horowitz. Our client list included six Fortune 100 companies. Last quarter, $50 million in revenue. And in 90 minutes, I was delivering the summit's keynote presentation. I'd registered under my company name, not Chin Industries. The summit organizers knew me as Dr. Harper Chin, CEO of Quantum Core Analytics. My family knew me as Kenneth's little sister who'd walked away from the family legacy to play with computers. I'd kept Quantum Core completely separate deliberately. After years of dad dismissing my ideas, of Kenneth taking credit for my work when I'd briefly consulted for Chin Industries, of mom suggesting I'd be happier in a support role, I'd built something entirely my own. No family money. No family connections. Just my PhD in computational mathematics, my team and my vision. I need to prepare for something, I said. I'll see you at the keynote. Dad's voice boomed. Harper. Come here. I walked over. He stood with Richard Westbrook, CEO of Westbrook Technologies, one of the largest enterprise software companies in the world. Richard, this is my daughter Harper. She's here helping us with administrative matters today. Richard extended his hand politely. His eyes flickered to my red badge, support staff not worth significant attention. Nice to meet you. Harper studied computer science, Mom added. She's been working on some small technology projects. Very entrepreneurial. Small projects. Three years of brutal work reduced to small projects. That's wonderful, Richard said with the tone of someone humoring a child. Technology needs young people willing to try things. He turned back to Dad. Kenneth, I'd love to hear about Chin Industries' supply chain strategy. I stepped away as Kenneth launched into a presentation clearly borrowed from consultants. I'd read their quarterly reports. Nothing he described was innovative. The main conference hall seated over 2,000 attendees. Executive badges got the first 20 rows. General attendees filled the middle. Support staff were directed to back rows and overflow areas. My family took seats in the third row right side. Prime position. Dad was already networking handing out business cards. Kenneth sat with the posture of someone who believed he belonged, who'd never had to prove his worth beyond his last name. Hold up. The summit director Marie Holbrook found me backstage. Dr. Chin. Five minutes out. Are you ready? Ready. She smiled warmly. Your platform has been incredible for us. When my team implemented Quantum Core for event logistics, 
we cut planning time by 40%. I've been looking forward to this keynote for months. Thank you, Marie. The lights dimmed. Marie walked onto the stage to enthusiastic applause. Good morning and welcome to the National Technology Innovation Summit. We have an extraordinary program featuring leaders who are genuinely transforming how businesses operate. I could see my family in the third row. Mom checked her phone. Dad still talked to his neighbor. Kenneth sat with arms crossed, probably planning his networking agenda. Our opening keynote needs no introduction to anyone paying attention to enterprise technology in the past 18 months, Marie continued. Her platform Quantum Core Analytics has been called the most significant advancement in supply chain optimization in a decade. Her machine learning algorithms are used by everyone from automotive manufacturers to pharmaceutical companies. Kenneth sat up straighter. I saw him whisper to Dad. She holds a PhD in computational mathematics from MIT. She's been featured in Forbes 30 Under 30 and Fast Company's Most Innovative Entrepreneurs. Today she'll share insights on the future of predictive analytics. Mom's phone was down. She frowned confused. Please welcome Dr. Harper Chin, CEO and founder of Quantum Core Analytics. The screens behind the stage lit up with my company logo, the distinctive quantum circuit design recognizable in tech circles. Underneath, Quantum Core Analytics, Dr. Harper Chin, founder and CEO. I walked onto the stage to applause. The audience stood, a courtesy for keynote speakers. In the third row my family sat frozen. Dad's face had gone pale. Mom's mouth hung open. Kenneth looked slapped. I took the podium, my confidence built on three years of earnings calls, investor presentations, and board meetings where I'd proven myself repeatedly. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. The applause continued. I waited for it to settle, my eyes scanning the audience landing briefly on my family, still seated, still processing. Three years ago I walked away from a traditional career path. People told me I was making a mistake throwing away stability and family legacy for a risky venture that would probably fail. Kenneth's face reddened. People around my family whispered, checking programs, making connections. I built Quantum Core from my apartment. Myself and two MIT classmates who believed in the vision. No family money. No corporate connections. Just a breakthrough algorithm and conviction that we could solve a problem costing businesses billions in inefficiency. The screens shifted to a visualization of our platform. Elegant interface masking complex mathematical modeling. Today, Quantum Core serves 73 enterprise clients across 14 industries. Last quarter, our platform processed $2.3 billion in supply chain decisions. Our clients report average efficiency gains of 37% and cost reductions of $4.2 million annually per deployment. Richard Westbrook in the front row leaned forward, focused, taking notes on his tablet. The VC dad had courted earlier did the same. But this isn't really about machine learning or supply chain optimization, I continued. It's about the courage to build something new when people around you can't see its value. About proving yourself in rooms where nobody expects you to succeed. The audience was riveted. Heads nodded throughout the hall. Some of you are wearing support staff badges today. I paused. You're sitting in back rows because someone decided your contribution wasn't valuable enough for a better seat. I understand that intimately. This morning I was issued a support staff badge by people who should know better. Gasps rippled through the audience. The cameras. This was live streamed to thousands. Captured my family's section. Kenneth had his head down. Mom looked like she wanted to disappear. Dad's networking smile had vanished. Revelation. I removed the red support staff badge from my blazer and held it up. The screens behind me magnified the image. This badge was issued by my family's company. Chin Industries is a platinum sponsor of this summit. They brought me as administrative support because they couldn't imagine I'd built something worth noticing. The silence in the hall was absolute. Quantum Core's platform has been implemented by 17 companies who previously used Chin Industries as supply chain consultants. We didn't target them, they came to us because our solution worked better. Chin Industries' revenue has declined 22% in 18 months because outdated methodologies can't compete with algorithmic optimization. I looked directly at my family. Dad's face was purple. Kenneth looked sick. I say this not to humiliate anyone but to make a point. The future belongs to innovation not legacy. 
to people who build real solutions not those who coast on family names, to executives who earn titles through competence, not inheritance. The applause started slowly then built to a roar. People stood again but this time it felt personal, like I'd articulated something they'd all felt. I delivered the rest, 45 minutes on machine learning, predictive analytics, enterprise technology future. The audience engaged, asking thoughtful questions. Richard Westbrook asked about implementation timelines. The VC asked about our next funding round. When I finished, Marie returned. Let's have another round of applause for Dr. Harper Chin. As I walked off stage, I passed a monitor showing the summit hashtag feed. CO reveals family gave her support staff badge at her own keynote. Brutal. Hashtag tech summit. Dr. Harper Chin just delivered the most savage keynote opening ever. Hashtag tech summit. Imagine giving your daughter a support staff badge then watching her command a stage as CEO. Hashtag tech summit. Resolution. My family found me in the speaker's lounge 30 minutes later. Dad led, his expression oscillating between fury and panic. Harper. We need to talk. Privately. I have press interviews in 10 minutes. Say it here. Mom's eyes were red. How could you embarrass us like that? In front of everyone. You gave me a support staff badge, Mom. Told people I was working on small projects. Dad introduced me to Richard Westbrook as someone handling administrative matters. We didn't know, Kenneth started. You didn't know because you never asked. In three years, not once did you ask what I was building. Too busy writing me off as the daughter who disappointed you. You walked away from the family business, Dad said and built something better. That's what bothers you. Not that I left, but that I succeeded without you. Richard Westbrook appeared. Dr. Chin? Sorry to interrupt. I wanted to schedule time to discuss Westbrook Technologies implementing Quantum Core across our operations. 27 facilities globally. I smiled. Of course. Let me get your information. He handed me his card, then nodded at my family. Kenneth, good seeing you. His tone had cooled significantly. After this morning's presentation, I'm questioning the strategic advisory Chin Industries has been providing. We should revisit that contract. Kenneth went white. After Richard left, silence stretched. Harper, please, Mom said quietly. Can we fix this? People are asking questions. Clients are calling. This is hurting the business. Your failure to recognize your daughter's accomplishments is hurting the business. I stated facts. Dad's anger broke through. You've humiliated this family. Damaged our reputation, our client relationships. I built a better solution and outcompete you. That's business, Dad. You taught me that. Though I suppose you only meant it when you were winning. Marie appeared with a tablet. Dr. Chin, press interviews are set up. Also, 17 meeting requests from attendees wanting partnerships. Schedule for this afternoon. Yes, please. My family stood there, diminished in the bright lounge lighting. I need to go. I have actual business to conduct. Harper, wait. Kenneth reached for my arm. I stepped back. You've had three years to take me seriously. You don't get to now just because it's convenient. Over the next three days, I watched my family's world contract. Their networking circles closed. People who'd eagerly exchanged cards before made polite excuses. Chin Industries booth saw reduced traffic. Attendees clustered around Quantum Core Station instead. The summit ended with awards. Quantum Core won Most Innovative Technology Platform and Breakthrough Company of the Year. As I accepted on stage, my family was nowhere to be seen. They'd left early. Two weeks later, Forbes published How Dr. Harper Chin Built a $200 Million Company Her Family Didn't See Coming. It detailed the keynote moment, the support staff badge, Chin Industries' declining market share. My family's company struggled. Without Richard Westbrook's contract and facing reputation damage, Chin Industries lost three more major clients. Dad scaled back operations. Kenneth's VP title meant less when there was less to be VP of. Six months later, Quantum Core closed Series C at $580 million valuation. We expanded to 150 employees. I did another keynote at Web Summit in Lisbon to 40,000 attendees. I wore a gold executive badge. And I never looked back. I received one email from Dad three weeks after the summit. Subject line. We need to talk about this situation. I deleted it without opening. 
Kenneth tried calling twice. I blocked his number after the second attempt. Mom sent a handwritten letter to my office. It arrived on Quantum Core letterhead forwarded by my assistant. The letter talked about family loyalty and forgiveness and how I was tearing the family apart over a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. That's what she called three years of dismissal, of being introduced as the family disappointment, of having my life's work reduced to small projects. I didn't respond. The tech industry moved on quickly but the story lingered. At conferences people recognized me, not as Kenneth Chen's sister or the daughter who'd walked away from Chin Industries, but as Dr. Harper Chin, the CEO who'd worn a support staff badge to her own keynote. Young entrepreneurs reached out, thanking me for speaking truth about family businesses that valued legacy over merit. Women in tech shared their own stories of being underestimated by people who should have championed them. The support staff badge sat framed on my office wall. A reminder that other people's limitations don't define your ceiling.